Docker Hub is a powerful platform that allows developers to easily create and manage their own private registries. A private registry is a great way to keep your Docker images safe and secure, while still allowing others to access and use them. In this video, I'll walk you through the process of setting up your own private Docker registry on Docker Hub. Docker images are the building blocks of containerized applications. They're pre-configured snapshots of an application and its dependencies, including the operating system, runtime, libraries, and other components. With Docker Hub, you can easily share and distribute these images to other developers, teams, or even entire organizations. To pull an image from Docker Hub, you can use the docker pull command. This command takes the name of the image and the tag or the version of the image as arguments. For example, to pull the latest version of the community static site image from Docker Hub, the command would be docker pull precar1989 forward slash static site. After pulling an image from the hub, you can use the docker run command to start a container from the pulled image. In this instance, we're using the D flag to run the container in detached mode and the P flag, which will publish the container's port to the host. To set up a private Docker registry on Docker Hub, First, you'll need to create a new account on Docker Hub if you don't already have one. Once you're logged in, navigate to the Repositories section and click the Create Repository button. Here, you'll be prompted to enter a name for your new registry as well as a description. Next, you'll need to configure your new registry's settings. In the Visibility section, you can choose who has access to your registry by setting it to either public or private. If you choose private, you can invite specific users to access your registry by entering their Docker Hub username. Once you've set up a private Docker registry, you can log into it using the command docker login. You'll be prompted to enter your username and password for Docker Hub. Once your registry is set up, you can start pushing images to it. First, you should tag your local image using the name of your new repository to keep things organized using the docker tag command. Then, you can use the docker push command followed by the name of your registry and the name of the image that you want to push. For example, my registry is named sbenhoff forward slash demo and I'm pushing an image named static site, so I would use the command docker push s benhoff forward slash demo colon static site. You can also view your registry using the docker extension for VS Code and logging into your Docker Hub registry in the registries panel. You can also pull images from your private registry by using the docker pull command followed by the name of your registry and the name of the image that you want to pull. In this example, I'm pulling the exact same image that we just pushed, so it should tell me that it's already up to date. Setting up a private Docker registry on Docker Hub is a simple and straightforward process. By creating a private registry, you can ensure that your images are safe and secure while allowing others to access and use them. With the right setup, you can easily push and pull images to and from your registry, making your development process more efficient. If you're struggling with Docker errors, check out my Pluralsight course, Tactics and Tools for Troubleshooting Docker. This course provides developers with the skills they need to troubleshoot and fix the most common Docker errors. By the end of this course, you will have the skills that you need to reduce the time it takes you to assess and fix issues. Visit hofstech.com slash troubleshooting docker to get started with a free trial today. What questions do you have about Docker Hub? Let me know in the comments and please be sure to like, subscribe, and share this video. Thanks for watching and have a great day.